Strathclyde students are improving the world we live in and we are able to do so by having access to state-of-the-art equipment and facilities for our studies and our research. Let's find out more about some of the facilities available to students in our ACE departments. My name is Amy Grech and I am a PhD student at the Department of Design, Manufacture and Engineering Management. Some of the facilities in the department include a suite of rapid prototyping equipment that students are free to use all year round. And there's also a workshop that contains lots of model making materials and equipment that students are trained to operate. The Digital Design and Manufacture Studio also contains a laser cutting facility for students to be able to cut and engrave sheet material according to any prototyping requirements. My name is Robert Watson. I'm a PhD student within the Department of Electronic and Electrical Engineering at the University of Strathclyde. I decided I wanted to stay on and do my PhD, ironically, when I walked into this lab and saw all the facilities they had on offer. Okay, so these uh, facilities support a number of different technologies. Uh, we have fixed arm mobile robotics, we have crawler robotics and uh, UAV robotics. Uh, my work has focused on performing contact-based inspection with drones. So this is quite a new area. Drones typically just kind of fly at an offset from the surface and then take a bunch of photos, do non-contact inspection. My work specifically has focused on doing contact inspection, which is hard. It requires the drone to like be able to hold itself in the air and exert a force into the surface and hold the probe in stable contact. These facilities have greatly benefited my own research. They provide a unique and very well-equipped environment to develop new drone technologies. So my name is Maisie Keel. I'm a PhD student in the Department of Biomedical Engineering. The Wilson Building has just undergone a brand new £15 million refurbishment. So all of the facilities that we have are brand new. So I, I'm based on the ground floor um, and I do my work with the patients here and we're in the Studio Thorn Centre. So primarily it's PhD students um, and staff who have everyday access to the facilities here. During the summer we have our master students who come in to do their um, dissertations so they gather data in here. Um, but undergraduates can use these facilities as part of some of their classes and our prosthetics and orthotic students have their own dedicated workshops and labs. We also have passive machines um, that help our patient carry out their rehabilitation um, and we also have various other machines like a squat machine if we're looking to help them build up leg strength for example and also arm machines as well which we can help them build upper body strength. My name is Anosh, I'm a PhD student and PGR representative at the Department of Architecture. For studying at the Department of Architecture is that you are actually taught by professional architectural practitioners in studio environments. You have access to two studios. One is called the Garden Studio and the other is called the City Studio. You also have a specific library for finding books that are related directly with architectural studies. Hi, I'm Marcella McElroy um, and I'm a PhD student at Civil and Environmental Engineering. The labs get refurbished in 2016. The labs are extremely diverse. They cover every range of discipline you can think of from chemistry, biology, microbiology, physics, coding, mathematics, geology. It's a wide range of topics to do at Strathclyde. My name is uh, Mikhail Delepiane. I am a PhD student at the University of Strathclyde at the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. There are four uh, research um, groups, and these are the energy in the energy sector, in the fluid sector, the aerospace, and mechanical and material uh, department. So here at Strathclyde, on the ground floor of the MRL, uh, there is a plethora of uh, mechanical tester uh, testing machines uh, where people can perform tensile testing, fati fatigue testing, um, supersonic uh, testing, and Sharpie testing and micro hardness. And on the second floor, it's the microstructure analysis department where you have the optical microscopes, you have your scanning electron microscopes, as well as uh, equipment to measure thermal properties of those samples. The flight simulator uh, is one of the largest pieces of equipment here at Strathclyde on the ground floor of James Weir. It's a part of the aeroflight um, experience that third year students get in the aeromechanical course that they undertake. I'm James, I'm a third year PhD student in the Department of uh, Chemical and Process Engineering. 
Well, I think it's the, sort of the wide range of uh, facilities that we have here because there's sort of multiple different research groups. People in the department uh, do have access to the Archie West supercomputer where they're able to have their, uh, comp their computational simulation based work uh, run. The lab does have a sort of analytical facility where people can bring samples to have various characteristics of them tested, be it to be the, the physical form that they're in, so what I, I would refer to as the crystal polymorph, where the, sort of the same substance can have multiple different forms in solid form. So I'm Margot Cocard and I'm a PhD uh, student at the Naval Architecture, Ocean and Marine Engineering Department. The facility that I found of really unique to the University of Strathclyde and to the department is uh, the Kelvin Hydrodynamic Laboratory. Uh, it's growing and we have a towing tank, an ocean basin, as well as a turbulent flow channel. And it's really good to be able to uh, do some experiments within these facilities. People within the department study anything related to ship design and offshore platform. The virtual reality simulator is used for teaching and research purposes. Within the department, for example, we used it within the undergraduate program in order to do an inclining test. In the department, we have a full mission breach simulator. It's basically a computer system in which we can simulate different vessels, ports, weather conditions, as well as uh, traffic patterns for training assessment and research purposes. Thank you for joining us. We hope we have given you an insight into some of the impressive facilities available to engineering students who are studying with us at the University of Strathclyde.